Hello, and welcome to The Bigger Flip Show. My name is Michael Pinter, where I teach you how to start flipping houses, or if you're already doing it, how to grow your business. So we are, I think this might be the last one in a series of mistakes real estate investors make. I think there are like 30 or 40 of them. Um, and this is one that I've made for sure, and I learned, and I, I probably feel strongest about this than anything else that I'm going to talk about uh, in the many, many videos that I've done. Um, and that is when you have an accepted offer to sell something, you do not stop marketing the property. You continue to market, and every single offer I've ever accepted, this is what I've said, or the people who work for me say, we're accepting your offer, but we're going to continue to market the property until contracts are fully signed. Now, what does that mean, and why do I do that? A couple of things. Especially in New York, before contract signed, anybody can walk from the deal, anyone. Um, you can just say, sorry, change my mind. And that's happened to me on a bunch of occasions. So there are old time agents and I'll debate this topic with anyone, anywhere, anytime uh, in front of as many people as you want. The idea that because we accept an offer means I have to stop marketing the property is so incredibly ridiculous to me because I can tell you on probably seven or eight occasions, I've had someone who uh, I accepted their offer, promised me that they were going to sign the contract and then either disappeared or i got a quick email slash uh text from their realtor or their attorney saying my clients decided not to move ahead with the transaction so the idea this old time oh your word is your bond your word should be oak how dare you hold an open house tomorrow when you accept my client's offer today that just doesn't hold any water with me right maybe the first time this happened to me i still felt like it meant something it means nothing if the buyer is not under any obligation to buy, I as a seller should be under no obligation to sell, right? And anybody who says this to me, I could ask you 100%, if your client called you three days after the offer was accepted and said, sorry, I changed my mind, what would you do? Every single buyer's agent would say, I'm just going to send a text saying we're, we're done. So that's how easy they can get out of it. So my position is simple. Always continue to market the property until contracts are signed. And now... Would I take a higher offer for $1,000? No. Would I take a higher offer for $20,000? Probably would. Probably would. So it sends two messages when you say what I just said, right? You say, I accept your offer, but I'm going to continue to market the property until contract is signed. It says, one, you better move fast. Two, if someone outbids you, they're going to get the property. So those are good messages to send to any buyer. And the idea of this ethical, moral component of it, I feel absolutely no obligation when an offer is accepted because the buyer is under absolutely no obligation to continue and and, and go through the transaction. So that's it. Uh, anybody who wants to debate this topic, I'm happy to discuss it with you. Accepted offer means zero, zero. So don't ever stop. And I have. I've had, I had a situation where a buyer told me, I'm a, I'm, I love this house. I'm on my way to my attorney. I'm going to my bank. I'm going to get the, the uh, uh, bank check. I'm going to bring it to my attorney. Never heard from the guy again, ever. So always continue to market the property until contracts are signed. Thank you very, very much for watching.